Minnesota. When we asked one of the local residents what the population was, he said, very quiet. Folks around here joke about the fact that for excitement, they go down to the local market and just sit around watching them unload oatmeal cookies, or they'll go to the edge of town, sit on the curb, and watch the tourists ignore the stop sign. Well, there was so much just sitting and watching going on in town, the people of Butterfield decided to make a contest out of it. And for this contest, the spectators came dressed in their Friday night funkiest. Some women came as kittens with whiskers, and some guys as Playboy bunnies with whiskers. The purpose of these weird costumes was to try to distract the contestants who were to just sit and watch one another. That's right, on this night, the town of Butterfield closed up the market and the cookie truck, took down the stop sign, and everybody showed up at the high school gym to just sit and watch various contestants, including the mayor, just sit and watch their opponents in a staring right, contest. Set, go! The whistle blew and the dirty looks and the spectators' dirty tricks were off. On this, the world's second annual staring contest. The rules were fairly simple. All you had to do was stare down your opponent without losing eye contact and without blinking. And that's not easy to do, especially when a bunny with hairy legs is flapping his tiny tail at you. <laughs> what does get in your eyes, though, when you try to keep them open are tears, and tears finally took their toll on Butterfield's mayor, Joel Holland. The distractors could do almost anything to disrupt the contest except make noises of any kind. Besides having a good time, having a good look, the town was out to raise money for their fire department and maybe get into the Guinness Book of Records, if for nothing else, for consuming the most murine. The world record for staring was five minutes and 19 seconds. As this round robin event continued, the field was narrowed eventually to these two finalists who were nearing six minutes. Jim the Eye Geiger was doing his best to send Wayne King Cornea Kispert to the showers. Wayne is the local bank president, and as you see, it was really no contest. Wayne won handily, and he credits his victory to years of staring down customers who wanted credit. I fell in love with you first time I looked into them, their eyes. You got a certain little cute way of flirting with. 